Hello all, uh, my name is David Walsh. Uh, today I'm presenting an abstract titled Methods for Creating uh, Reproducible Machine Learning Pipelines for Skin Lesion Classification on behalf of myself and my colleague Rory O'Reilly for the IEEE BHI BSN 2021 conference. This abstract's aims are twofold. The first aim is to standardize a configuration capture workflow for an ML pipeline, capturing various user-defined settings in a configuration file. The second is to automate the acquisition of skin lesion datasets from multiple online repositories. Here we see a high-level overview of the proposed workflow. On initialization, the workflow begins to pull data from various online repositories. Data is downloaded, extracted, and formatted into a uniform format for use with the ML pipeline workflow. Uh, following this, the ML pipeline picks up uh, the newly downloaded data and begins pushing it through its pipeline stages as depicted. Each stage is encapsulated in a software wrapper that records all user-defined settings, which are serialized into plain text via a YAML configuration file. This file acts as a self-documenting descriptor uh, used to faithfully re-implement re the ML pipeline to a high degree of accuracy. To demonstrate the efficacy of the approach, a state-of-the-art ML workflow in the domain of skin lesion classification was re-implemented. The methodology description of the selected paper was ambiguous. Due to this ambiguity, a best effort approach was taken to re-implement the baseline paper's methodology faithfully. Although results were suboptimal compared to the baseline paper's findings, the ability to automatically record, document, and share each train test iteration's configuration using the proposed workflow removes ambiguity found in written methodology descriptors. The ability to acquire data in a centralized and automated fashion also enables broader and more diverse set of skin lesion datasets to be utilized with ease in future ML workflows. On behalf of the authors, I would like to thank you for your time, and I look forward to answering questions on the work presented.